Hey, Tony Doherty here at IFBB Pro League and Arnold Classic Australia headquarters. And we're here to make a very special announcement because we've appointed our promoter for Western Australia for our qualifying shows for the Arnold and everything else going forward. And guess who he is? Josh Nutowitz. King John. of the gym yes. is here. And Josh, you've always wanted to, uh, I know, to give back to this sport and yeah. you do in so many different ways, but looking beyond bodybuilding, you've always said to me you'd like to be a promoter one day and this opportunity come up, so uh, what can we expect? Mate, that's, uh, I want to just thank you first for the opportunity and I remember going to the shows uh, earlier in my earlier life and you were always running them and um, I saw what a position of impact you had to impact lives in a positive way and seeing the athletes and people go up to them and shake their hand, I always went up and shook your hand because I felt you were the one that made it happen and the power lies in the person with the responsibility in the way that you can make positive change or negative change. And that's what we really want to do is create a positive change in Perth, um, in Western Australia, and we want to give back to the athletes. Um, and what divisions will we be including? Well, what we're going to do first off is run our qualifying show for the Arnold Classic. And what people have to realise all across Australia is if you're an Australian and you want to do the Arnold Classic, you have to do one of the qualifying shows, which are going to start with Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and WA. Now, if you live in WA and you prefer to go compete in Queensland, that's fine. And if you live in Queensland and you've got family in WA, that's fine. You can do one of the shows or all of the shows. And this has never been allowed before where people can travel around and do like their own little mini Grand Prix. And I know a lot of groups of athletes right now are planning a trip and you're gonna do like a mini Grand Prix and go from state to state to, to, to do the shows and to qualify. But technically you only have to do one show. Now, there is other shows out there that are claiming they're gonna be other classic qualifiers, you can do this show or that show, not true. But we do welcome everyone from every federation. So whether you're WBFF or NABA, WFF, ICN, or IFBB, you're all welcome. And, and of course, we've done shows with the IFBB for years, but now it's an open show. Open to every federation, anyone can compete, and we're not gonna tell you what to do. So for example, if you do the Queensland qualifier and you wanna go off and do a show with another federation as an amateur, then come back and do the Arnolds, we don't care, that's fine. In fact, we'd encourage people to compete as much as they can, but we wanna put on the best show in town. And uh, it's, it's going to be absolutely awesome. Josh, now we've come up with a date. Would you like to announce the date? Yeah, it's March 11, uh, and on March 10, we'll be doing weigh-ins at Doherty's Perth. So we'll give out everyone's number. Um, so when you're coming to do the event, and that's the only way to qualify for the Arnold Classic, get your uh, number, do your weigh-in, um, find out all the information that you want. Uh, I'll be there, and I'll also be guest posing on the 11th um, in my lead-up to the 2018 season so uh, it'll be great i'm really looking forward to giving back to the athletes tony's yes. josh, knows he's been josh. you said you're going to guest pose you know i've been on your back about doing the arnold classic yeah. now we don't get an answer on that today i know yeah. you're give me an answer next month <laughs> but um if whether or not you're training for the arnold classic which is obviously a week later mm -hmm. or whether you're just training to do the guest pose you're going to be in contest well, yeah. great shape for the for the people of Perth who've never seen the guest post before. Definitely, definitely, that's that's a goal. It's um, it'd be pretty good if you were one more year from the Arnold Day yeah, well, contest. Shape. I, I know your you tricks. I know what you're trying to get get back to. <laughs> but um, what I want to say is, you you know the athletes. You know, I'm at the top level that I know the athletes, and I just really when I hear things that aren't going on there where the athletes are getting looked after, it just really frustrates me and and it makes me upset and um, I want to make sure none of that happens and we want to make sure everyone gets a fair go. That's the most important thing and the winner of the divisions who you know, should be winning is the one that ends up with the title. Well, we've talked about that with bringing the Pro League style shows, the NPC shows to Australia, is that everyone's going to get a call out, whether in your first, second or third call out, you'll know where you're at. Everyone's mm -hmm. going to get feedback from the judges. Um, we're looking for the winners in each category who would most suit the Pro League. So we're not going to mark someone down for being too good. We've seen yeah. that time and time again, particularly in men's physique and mm -hmm. bikini, where people are marked down when they ask the judges why. They say, well, you're a bit too much for the amateurs. Mm. Yet they can stand up in the Olympia. So yeah. we're going to be judging people that can take their body to that next level without having to go backwards and then go forwards again because it makes no sense. Definitely. Now, Josh, we talked about the weigh-ins and registration. Obviously, it'd be the day before at Dalby's gym. And you mentioned um, giving out the numbers. I think another thing that 
really hold shows up, make them run, start late and then run late, is that everybody's got to get the number the day of the show. So we'll be bringing that in now that we do the numbers at the registrations. Every athlete wants, has to come to the registration, whether you need to get your height checked or your weight checked or your, your birth certificate if you're a junior or a master's, for example. We want to do all that at the registration, but we want to make an event out of it. We're going to have a bit of music playing. You'll be there. Yeah. We'll have a great backdrop for the competitors to, to take a picture of themselves like Academy Award style. I'm sure you'll be there to take photos with them and our whole team will be there. So we're going to bring in some really, really positive changes but we need a big name for the show being our first show in Perth what are we going to call it uh, the Josh and Adowitz classic is a something I've always wanted to do uh, in Perth so that's going to be what we're naming it fantastic and there's going to be participation medals for every single athlete and we're getting some beautiful medals cast at the moment great medal and a sash to go around their neck hampers for all the division winners and and one thing that a lot of people have been asking for is overalls so we're going to have overalls yeah. with all the men's weight classes with the overall physique and the overall bikini and of course the overall uh, figures and all those different divisions will have overall champions and then you've got favourites coming into the arm and people can get a bit better a week later and Mm -hmm. it's very exciting Josh. Um, It's a great great thing to be a part of and that's why I wanted to um, you know show my respect and appreciation um, by allowing me this opportunity because uh, that's like you said earlier it was people were at that level where they were going to be able to step straight into the pro ranks and I've even coached some people where they were in that standard and they've turned away from the sport altogether and I just think it's unfair to you know, deny someone that ability, especially if they're, they're going to be a leader in that field and a good role model as well. Um, and that's really what we're trying to do, encourage people, lift them up and just create a whole level all around Australia of great, a great team, great athletes that we can then take worldwide as well. Uh, like you were talking about last time. Mate, it's just a lot of you're, you're a hero to a lot of people out there. You're one of my favourite people, but I'm just so proud of what you've achieved. You know? And since this split in bodybuilding, I've actually had some of our pro athletes have been contacted saying, well, you don't really want to be a pro because you'd never make it to the Olympia. No one from Australia is you know, ever going to go that far. And I, I say stop. I say stop. I've got two words for you. Josh Lenardowitz. A kid came from Sale in country Victoria. Didn't know anyone, no favours. And you've just done your second Mr. Olympia. Yeah. And, and I think you've got to dare to dream and you've got to aim really high and you have to believe in yourself. And if you turn pro and you don't have that self-belief, then of course you'll never make it to the Olympia. But no, you're living proof that someone from a, a country town in Australia can go all the way to the top and be you know, top 10 and potentially top 5 bodybuilder in the whole wide world, yeah. potentially be a Mr. Yeah. Olympia. Yeah. I don't want anyone to put doubt in anyone's minds that it's not possible. And I remember... You know, dragging a ram out of the gym in the country where I used to train, it's, you know, that's a bit of, people wouldn't have that kind of a challenge. It's unmotivating and it's frustrating and, you know, you, got, you can get setbacks, but I think what we're about is, is encouraging people and building them up so they can stand on that, you know, pro stage, um, you know, with the best athletes in the world and have that, you know, ability of leadership to be able to impact lives. That's really what it's about. We can imagine one day if we had an Australian in every category at the Olympia, in the Bikini, the new men's classic physique and the bodybuilding with yourself and so on. I'd I'd just be so proud to be able to see that, you know, and the 212s and all the different classes, but to be able to see Australians experience what you've done, as you said, and then to impact lives with it and to take it to the next level. But Josh, you're going to be part of our qualifying series. Then later on, and the good thing is, for those that missed our last series of interviews I did with Scott, is that at the Arnold Classic this year, well, in 2018, it's next year, sorry, at our next Arnold Classic, I should say, is that all the category overall winners will be getting IFB Pro League cards, just like you've got, to be able to, because once you've got a Pro League card, you can compete in any pro show in the world. The only two that you have to qualify is the Arnold in Columbus, you have to be invited, and the Olympia, you have to qualify through winning a show or getting enough points through the system. Um, apart from that, if you see a show in Tampa or San Marino or... or um, California, New York, the New York Pro, any of the great shows, all you have to do is enter and you can go as a Pro League member. Now, the other thing is, the Arnold's going to be open for people from all over the world, so we'll have people coming from everywhere trying to take our Pro cards. (laughs) But later in the year, in September, October, we're going to have national qualifiers all over Australia, and you'll be running our Perth one, it'll be the, the, the WA State Championships, leading into our nationals at a venue that I haven't named yet, but when we do that, we're going to have another set of pro cards to give out for Australians. And that way we can make sure Australians do get the pro cards and do take on the world. Are you looking forward to, to that whole year of bodybuilding with time to prepare? Yeah, it's, it's a great, I think we're in a really good time in bodybuilding. It's never been bigger. 
and uh, there's so much exposure and that's something we want to do as well is give the athletes more exposure um, by you know interviewing the winners and not just how does it feel to win we're going to be giving them you know good feedback and uh, giving them the opportunity to tell a bit of their story what what got them through adversities and stuff like that that really you know connects with people so we want to make sure we give people the opportunity to give to have exposure as well um, to grow their own personal brands through being part of you know the best uh, competition in the world who the by association well I think with with the Arnold classic um, you know Facebook and Instagram and yours you've got a whole lot of followers and mine and and then our, our pro league guys and when we combine all of those together we've got about a million followers between us that we can get that message out so it's a great idea to be able to interview the winners and have them tell their story and I know you'll promote it yeah. through your channels and be there to take photos with the fans and all that sort of thing mm. so you can lock that in guys it's going to be in Perth on March 11th it's a Sunday Josh will be there guest posing in fantastic condition wanting to meet all the fans we're going to have an absolute kick-ass show mm. and it is a qualifier for the Armour Classic it'll be the only qualifier in WA yeah. there's no other show you can do to get to the arm. Let's yeah. to be very clear about that. Yeah, and it'll be a one show format as well. Yeah, one price, yeah. one show format. So, and uh, if we do break the judging into pre judging and finals, it's just one ticket price. Yeah, it'll be fifty dollars. Um, yeah, you know, because I know people are getting been getting charged more than that. We want it to be affordable for the athletes to enter the show. Yeah. and with the athletes entering the show, they can do more than one category, but they only do their routine once. But after your first category, your next category is half price which hasn't been done before in a lot of instances. And uh, and for the fans yeah. coming to watch, you know. Kids kids for free. Yeah, kids for free. We know that it's, it's a family and friends. They're all part of the journey as well. So we want to make sure that they're, you know, rewarded. They're not, you know, paying out of their pocket just to come and support you. So we feel like we really, really want to give right. back and uh, make it all about the athletes. Yeah, you know, the other thing that's been lacking in a lot of shows is having that kind of marketplace at the front that we had you know, 15, 20 years ago, where all the sponsors come along and get involved. So we've also made the sponsorships very affordable mm -hmm. and the response has been phenomenal. So be able to come and get your meals and your cheap supplements and your samples and your clothing and all that sort of thing at the shows. It's and it's going to be a great experience before, during, after. The other thing is we're going to run on time, Josh. We're going to start the show. If we say we finish at six, we finish at six. So you can book a table for dinner, go out with your friends and family and really celebrate your achievement. Yeah. And that's one thing that Tony's always run the shows on time that everyone out there knows. So Tony's going to be there for every first show in every state. And uh, we're just really looking forward to meeting everyone. And it's going to be a great event. Well, Josh, uh, I guess our partnership's official. Our announcement's official. You are our promoter for WA. Congratulations, mate. Thanks. I know you're going to be over there a lot with our Dowdy's Gym yep. expansion. And uh, you're the ambassador for our Dowdy's Perth. So you'll be over there several times a year doing your training and encouragement, seminars and all that. So look out for Josh in, in Perth. But mate, welcome to the Thank team. You. Really proud of you and I can't wait to take this to the next level. Definitely. Thank you.